Canadian couple with two totally different backgrounds sharing our experience and advice about traveling in Canada. So follow along as we continue to explore the second largest country on earth. We're in Vancouver! Yes, it's known as one of the most beautiful cities in all of Canada. Well, yeah. today it's raining. <laughs> yeah, well, it does rain here quite a bit, although every time we've come here in the summer, it's been very nice, blue skies, and it really is a beautiful city. Usually we like to have a lot of days here because there really is a lot of things to do here, and it's just like a great city to walk around and explore. But right now, we actually only have 24 hours, so it's about 3 p.m. right now, and we have till tomorrow at 3 p.m. because then we're going to be starting our next adventure with the Rocky Mountaineer. So that's actually what we're here for. So we came a little early, so let's go see what we can explore. been like my what baby like fifth or sixth visit Probably, to Vancouver yeah, and this is the first time that I've seen the stars which is kind of like the Hollywood Hollywood stars maybe yeah, well, something they call like that. Vancouver like the Hollywood of Canada because this is where most of the production comes from uh, when it's not in LA and I must say that one of the things that I really love about Vancouver compared to Calgary yeah. is all the people that you see on the streets you don't see the streets of Calgary like this yeah it's a much more densely populated city than Calgary so it's uh, actually one of the most densest cities in all of North America <laughs> Well, since it's kind of rainy, a little bit gloomy, we decided to do an indoor activity. So we're gonna come check out the Lou Reed Gallery of Northwest Coast Art, because we've heard really good things about the indigenous art that they have here. The Bill Reed Gallery was named after the acclaimed Haida artist, Bill Reed, who was a master goldsmith, carver, sculptor, writer, broadcaster, and spokesman. It's home to the Simon Fraser University Bill Reed Collection and special exhibitions of contemporary indigenous art of the Northwest Coast of North America. Well, it's a small museum, but very interesting. I love learning about indigenous culture. Yeah. Very beautiful uh, artwork. Yeah, I've always loved like Northwest Coast art. And I would say maybe an hour tops is all you need in there. And so right now it's about 4 p.m. A lot of museums are kind of you know, closing close. at five. Uh -huh. So instead of going to more museums, we're actually gonna walk down to Canada Place and enjoy the waterfront. Well, as you can see, the rain has definitely picked up, so it's a good thing we brought an umbrella. Always bring an umbrella and a rain jacket when you come to Vancouver, right? Yeah, and maybe waterproof shoes too. Yeah, so we, we finally made it to Canada Place. This is basically a landmark in the city and where a lot of uh, events take place, and it's just a good starting point for seeing the waterfront, and it's also where you'll find the information booth on things to do in the city, and you can see the big cruise ships that go all the way up to Alaska. Now we're in Gastown. So this is my favorite neighborhood in the city. It's actually the oldest commercial district. It's basically where Vancouver got its start. It's only about a 10 minute walk from Canada Place. So this is the place where you'll find lots of restaurants, bars, nice cobblestone streets, and the famous steam clock that everyone likes to come and get their picture with because it's one of very few in the world. We're actually back at Canada Place slash waterfront and it's so pretty because we can actually see the mountains. Yeah, Vancouver is so different when the rain goes away. It really is, to me, the most beautiful city in Canada because you have the mountains and the ocean and the nice high rises and all that kind of stuff. So we're actually going to make our way now along the waterfront and into Stanley Park. What a beautiful day. So we've been walking already for about half an hour because when you start from Canada Place to this part, which is pretty much the beginning of the Stanley Park, it's about half an hour. But anyway, it's worth the walk. 
and I think we still have left like two hours of walking. <laughs> Another great thing about visiting Stanley Park is it's not only great for all the views you get and the nature, but there's actually a lot of things to do and see here. One of the things we definitely recommend checking out are uh, the totem poles. They're pretty much right near the entrance. They're really beautiful to see and they've really become like an icon of that Northwest Coast uh, indigenous art. Well, we're not quite halfway around Stanley Park yet. Of course, we're just walking along the seawall, which to us is the most beautiful walk here. But we always like to stop at the Lionsgate Bridge because this is just a really beautiful bridge. And it's actually got some interesting history to it as well. It was built in 1937 by the Guinness Beer Company. So I'm sure you've heard of beer and you're wondering why would they build a bridge? But it's because back in those days, there was still a lot of racism and classism and stuff like that so across this bridge it was built to get to the British properties which were there mainly for elites and it excluded non-white people and Jewish people so they actually built the bridge to get over there. Once you pass the Lions Gate Bridge it gets a little bit windy there's not too much shelter and it seems more like open ocean. Yeah I think the other side what we can see is actually Vancouver Island. the beach and the sound of the waves so relaxing that's why Vancouver beats Calgary <laughs> because of the water we've been walking for a long time right now <laughs> we started walking around what baby it's 120 right now maybe 10 10 11, 12, 1, 3 hours. However, we've been stopping a lot, getting pictures, video. Yeah, so if you do the same, just consider a good amount of time, especially if you want to stop in other places like the totem poles. We didn't stop at the aquarium. There's a couple of gardens too. So yeah, you pretty much kind of spend the whole day here in Stanley Park. Uh, well, after four hours of walking around the seawall of Stanley Park, we are really hungry and a little bit thirsty, so why not quench both of that at Stanley Park Brewing? Well, even though they all look the same, they're actually four different beers, and my favorite one, which I kind of knew before even trying it, is the Tangerine Sour. Well, that was good. Yeah. So. It was actually nice to rest the legs for a bit too. And Be now we're- like, Because what? we're gonna walk more. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna walk another half hour now. And uh, even though it's totally not on the way to our hotel, because no. we're about to end our 24 hours in Vancouver, but we've never been on the ferries that take you between Granville Island and some other places. So we're gonna jump on that ferry and see what Vancouver looks like from the water. Well, that was a quick little ferry ride. Right now we're actually in Granville Island, another really popular place to visit. We have no time for it today, so we're gonna catch another ferry and go further down. All right, well, that's it for our 24 hours in Vancouver. That was actually a cool way and a pretty low cost way of kind of seeing the city from the water. And even though I know that we missed out so many things to do in Vancouver, probably this gives you a good glimpse of how beautiful this city is. Yeah, we've actually been here 
many times before we've done quite a few things but we always go to Stanley Park because we really love that walk along the seawall so that's something we definitely recommend but if you want to learn more about all the other things to do in Vancouver just visit our Vancouver travel guide on mustdocanada.com and of course if you like this video and it inspires you to visit Vancouver hit that like button and hit subscribe yeah and leave us a comment we'd love to hear from you but now we got to get back to our hotel because we're going to get ready for our next adventure which is on the Rocky Mountaineer.